In this video, I'm going to be going over an iceberg of a large majority of the controversies in Roblox's history. This is technically a 1000 subscriber special, but um... I'm a bit late. This iceberg contains controversial users, heavily disliked features or events, and much more. Before warned, this video delves into some very serious topics in the 3rd tier, 4th tier, and 6th tier. Before each of those entries that I mentioned, we'll have a warning containing a timestamp for the next segment, so you can skip if you want to, and a trigger warning for those who need it. Without further ado, let's delve into the iceberg. I hope you guys enjoy. Tickets Removal Tickets, or ticks, are a discontinued form of currency that existed alongside Robux from August of 2007 until it was discontinued in April of 2016. They could be gained completely for free and were able to be converted into Robux. This feature was abused very heavily, especially towards the later years of its lifespan. On the 14th of April 2016, ticks were completely removed from Roblox and anyone's ticks were completely deleted. This caused a huge wave of backlash against the Roblox team which was understandable. The removal was announced exactly one month before and they had an event called the Tixapalooza, where ticket related hats were sold every day for a month until April 14th. As well, a hat was even sold on accident about a month or two after ticks were removed for about 100 tickets. It's free commercial. In July of 2011, Roblox released a TV commercial. This was their first commercial. This advert was heavily disliked by the Roblox community at the time for being misleading in quotes. For example, skyboxes were done by green screens, dancing animations that were just impossible in 2011, fake usernames in the credits and fake games being displayed, fake driving physics, and more. At the end of the commercial, the narrator shouted, It's free, which was uh, also partially untrue for the time. Junkbot Raid In November 2020, the Roblox YouTuber Flamingo started an event called Junkbot Week. For one week, Albert told his fans to change all of their avatars to the Junkbot Arthro package and spam things like oil or boil or give oil and many more. Both Life in Paradise and The Hood were raided by thousands of people, causing not only Roblox servers to have major issues, but it ended up being one of the biggest raids, if not the biggest raids, in Roblox history. The owners of both games mentioned before did give permission for people people to raid their games. John and Jane Doe John Doe and Jane Doe were both test accounts created in 2005 by the Roblox staff team to test multiple early website features from the time. For those who don't know, John Doe is a placeholder name for those whose names are unknown. For example, on tombstones. If someone was buried but their name is unknown, they will use John Doe or Jane Doe. Throughout the years, many rumors started around these accounts because of not only how old they were, but their mysterious nature. Not much information was known about these accounts for a long time. In February, in February and March of 2017, a rumor started that these accounts were going to come back and hack everyone who logged into Roblox on March 18th, 2017. This was very obviously untrue. Chat filtering common words. The chat filtering system has been a common issue for many Roblox players. For example, people under 13 not being able to say any numbers for a long period of time, random words being censored for no reason, and many more. Many very common words were censored for some time. These include can't, hi, okay, secret, the, we, my, well, um, town, bucket, and some, and many more. The word can't is still censored for some people now for no real reason. Possibly because it may sound like the other four letter C word that starts with a C and ends with a T in some accents. 1x1x1x1, 1x1x1x1, or simply 1x, was a test account initially created in 2007 by Shedletsky. The account was later renamed to Request and a Jumble of Numbers, and later remade in 2010. A form post was made by Shedletsky explaining the 1x1x1x1 was actually a hacker and could insert scripts into games and would say spooky things. However, Mr. Doombringer had to say that this was obviously false. Quackity Raid In the summer of 2017, Quackity, yes the funny dream SMP guy, raided and spammed the Roblox forms twice on livestream, causing him to be banned twice. The form was locked a few times once the people with 2 year old or more accounts, and then locked to those who had accounts from 13 years ago or older. However, this was 2017, and at the time no existing accounts were 13 years older or more. Roblox was heavily criticized for this, and so Roblox removed the lock and replaced it with just a captcha. Quackity and Quack are still censored on Roblox because of these raids. 
Forms removal. The forms that had opened up in 2004 were finally closed in the winter of 2017. The true reason isn't 100% known, however it is probably a mixture of all of the form incidents that happened in 2017 and some of the years prior. Quackity's 2 raids that happened in the summer, Isotoxic's raid that happened in December, a certain event that happened in October that I will get into later in the video, multiple fan-made forms and form archive projects have been started since. Oof Sound Lawsuit on September 18th, 1999, the OOF sound was created by Tommy Talerka. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. The sound was used with permission in the 2000 PC game Messiah. Sometime between 2005 and 2006, the death sound was added to Roblox. Apparently, either David Bazuki or Eric Castle had gotten it from a stock royalty free CD with sound effects on it, which had probably taken the sound that Talerco made some years ago and redistributed it. Talerco caused a copyright dispute with Roblox about the death sound. Lisa Gaming Roblox Lisa Gaming Roblox is a troll account on YouTube that would call out popular Roblox YouTubers with completely false claims. Apparently, they were banned from Bloxburg for deleting players' houses, history is repeating itself live and we're witnessing it, and being banned on Roblox for a few days before their account was reinstated. If this is a troll looking for attention, then it sure did work because Jesus Christ do some people hate them. <laughs> PewDiePie ban. In February 2019, PewDiePie did a live stream on YouTube where he played Roblox games. However, near the end of the live stream, his account was banned for having an inappropriate username, in quotes, which was not the case. A Roblox staff member said that anything related to him would be banned a month earlier because of, and I quote, due to his contact redirecting to unsafe and inappropriate sites and channels, as well as continued inappropriate behavior which definitely makes sense. The hashtag unbanned PewDiePie was trending for some hours on Twitter the same day. PewDiePie is still censored on Roblox. Lil Nas X Concert In November 2020, a concert was hosted on Roblox to promote Lil Nas X's new single at the time, Holiday. Now, this might seem like a good idea on Roblox's part, for example, Fortnite's had multiple concerts, and festivals are commonly hosted on Minecraft servers, so what could go wrong with the Roblox concert? Well, um, everything. Animations were buggy, Roblox's servers were slow. Remember the junk bot raid from earlier? Yeah, one of them happened at the concert, causing the Roblox avatar editor to stop working entirely. It was a mess. The concert itself was actually really well developed and took a lot of time to make, I'm very sure. However, it just did not compete with the circumstances of that day and how poor the Roblox servers just so happened to be that day. End of Egg Hunts. Roblox Egg Hunts, formerly called Egg Stravaganzas or Egg Drops, are a Roblox event that have been hosted every year since 2008 except for the years 2009, 2011, and unfortunately 2021. Some of these Egg Hunt events are regarded as some of Roblox's best events in its well over a decade and a half worth of history. Egg Hunts were replaced with the Metaverse event in 2021, which wasn't received that positively. UAE and Jordan Ban Roblox was banned in the UAE for being damaging to children's health in quotes, however the ban was lifted in March of 2021. It's also banned in the Middle Eastern country of Jordan, which I rarely see anyone mention surprisingly. The only reason I know of this being a thing was a comment I got on one of my latest videos. It's also banned in North Korea. Invisible KSI this is going to sound really weird for those who have not been on Roblox recently, but for those who don't know, another concert is going to happen in the same vein as the Lil Nas X concert, but this time for KSI. Also, yes, for those who don't know, KSI also makes music, I guess. An Arthro bundle was released recently before the event was going to happen, although the event has probably happened by the time this video is up, and the bundle barely works. If you use the glitched body of the bundle and the headless head, you can become entirely invisible. I don't know how this is allowed. Brick Bronze Deletion Pokemon Brick Bronze was a Pokemon fan game that was made on Roblox in October 2015 by Lando64000, who some of you may know for his earlier work on a hide and seek game about 3 or so years earlier. However, this all came to a halt in April 2018 when Nintendo had threatened legal action against Roblox for the large amount of Nintendo fan games and copyright content on the platform. And so on the 18th of April, the game was wiped from the platform, which made a lot of people very upset, understandably. Trump Hacking Incident 
From June to August of 2020, many accounts were stolen and their bios, avatars, and more were changed to pro-Trump related things. For example, many of them had t-shirts with bald eagles and American flags, red, white, and blue body colors, and their bios and statuses were changed. Though this really didn't work, and I feel bad for those who had their accounts hacked. July 4th, 2018 incident. On July 4th, 2018, a seven-year-old child accidentally joined a experimental mode game where local scripts so that you can make things happen on certain people's screens and not everyone's screens. However, in this case, a underage player was forced into sexual animation. This entry on the iceberg is quite high, only because the mother had reported this incident to multiple news outlets and the story was getting a lot of traction at the time. This led to experimental mode games, which were highly vulnerable to exploit to be locked so that only the owner or the owner's friends could play them. However, this feature was also very controversial and the friends only lock was removed. Mr. Obvious Mr. Obvious was a very popular Roblox animator that had received a Bloxy award in 2014. In 2017, it was revealed that they had sent multiple underage girls inappropriate photos and videos. Many people were mad at Roblox for not terminating his account earlier, however in 2021 he was finally IP banned, even though it had been nearly 4 years since the incidents had happened. Bans for saying disco slash gay. Roblox's chat filter tries as much as possible to filter out the name of the messaging platform Discord. There have been many ways to get around it over the years, such as disc, discord, discord, and most importantly, disco. Many people have been banned recently for saying disco, as the filter thinks that the user is saying discord. In July, there was a massive spike in people being banned for saying gay. However, most of the time, it was not in an offensive context or was it meant to be. Lobu Account Limiting Lobu, or Roblox in China, will remove Robux from your account, make you unable to friend people or join groups. Simple as that. BC Only Places a feature was released in the last few days of 2010, making it so that only people with Builders Club, the precursor to Roblox Premium, could make games that were limited to people who also had Builders Club. This was very poorly received and even many Builders Club members protested the issue. One very well known example of BC only places is when for a few weeks, Sword Fight on the Heights 4 was locked to Builders Club users. This made many people on the forums upset. Jared Valdez 4 Jared Valdez 4 or Jared Valdez or Jared 2 Valdez 4 or one of his many other usernames was a very heavily despised user to many members of the Roblox community at the time. He would commonly steal games from other creators and republish them as his own with little to no changes and make robux off of it. These include stealth pilots and the undead coming being rebranded to the infection, one dev 2's welcome to the town of Roblox being completely copied with no changes, and many more. In 2013 he had gained over 160 million place visits, which is still impressive now, but this was also 8 years ago. 2 billion people have joined since the start of 2013 to put that in perspective. Roblox was a much smaller platform back then so Jared's games in quotes had a very large impact on the community, making him one of the most hated users of all time. He was also about 12 or 13 at the time. Julius Coles v2 Julius Coles, or Julius5005, was a notorious Roblox user who created the Have a Family in the Town of Robloxia game. Similar to Jared Valdez, he had also stolen free models and uncopy locked games and passed them off as his own. Julius also had a YouTube channel where he would upload gameplay, dancing videos, and more. One thing that he was also very notorious for was making death threats towards the Roblox administrators. As well in April 2013, he was IP banned for making NSFW places on Roblox. In 2017, Julius and Flamingo got into fake beef I guess, and had also made a joke video saying that Roblox was suing him in 2018. However, it was changed so people didn't think it was real. Games Genre List Removal Until 2017, the games page had a genre list so that you could sort front page games by their style of game. For unknown reasons, this useful feature was removed from the site. Many players hated this update understandably. Flesk H Jerta Ban 
Flesk H. Jarto was a very popular Roblox YouTuber from March 2007 to October of 2008, and had inspired many to join Roblox at the time. He was most notable for his Roblox blooper series. In October of 2008, he was banned because of inappropriate models that were created when he first made his account in early 2007 that he didn't even know were published. The models were quite literally the default figure model with two cylinders, which were supposed to look like boobs, I guess. Many people think his ban was unjust justified and not deserved. However, he did come back to Roblox many years later and has made a few videos on it recently. MSE6 MSE6 was a former super moderator on Roblox who moderated the Roblox Talk and OT subforums on the now defunct Roblox forums. MSE6 was known for being an abusive moderator by many and would unreasonably punish users for too long and sometimes would ban users for zero reason. She became inactive in early 2016 and was later terminated in April 2020, most likely to prevent people trying to password guess the account. Catalog Price Floor in September of 2013, a feature was added to Roblox where t-shirts, shirts, and pants that you upload to the catalog could not be 25 Robux or lower. This was heavily disliked by a large majority of the Roblox community at the time. This was later lowered to 10 Robux and as of now, the feature is still present, however it is 2 Robux for t-shirts and 5 Robux for shirts and pants. Roblox ends in January 2020. In late 2019, rumors were spreading around that Roblox was going to shut down in January 2020. Roblox had to respond to this on Twitter and say that the rumors were false and that rumors like this were very common. Eating glue face and abs shirts. Eating glue face is an inappropriate face that surfaced in early 2021. I don't think I could show the face on YouTube, so I'm going to draw it myself. What the fuck? This is very similar to the abs shirts or big milkers type shirts that have been around for even longer where users will try and make t-shirts that can make their avatars look like they have breasts. These are only called abs so that they can get past the Roblox filter. NMPA audio lawsuit. NMPA, or the National Music Publishers Association, sued Roblox for $200 million in June of 2021. This is because of copyrighted music and other audio being uploaded to Roblox, and Roblox receiving money, in quotes, because it costs Roblox to upload audio. Form 34. I'm going to let my past self explain this from my history of Roblox video. In July, a secret form was discovered called Form 34. It was only accessible by changing the URL to say 34 instead of whatever form ID you were on. For example, Roblox Talk was ID 13. However, most accounts would be banned upon posting here. There is no known reason for this form's existence. The form is quite a mysterious part of Roblox history, mostly because of the punishments for those who were posted on it, which were very extreme, and the fact that it's completely unknown why it ever existed in the first place. May 2021 Refund Lawsuit A Michigan father sued the Roblox Corporation on the 25th of May for apparently providing sham content moderation just because some of the items her daughter bought were removed when the catalog scrubbed a lot of its potentially copyrighted content or more. Devo Lawsuit in 2009, Roblox released a hat called the Devo hat. Devo is a new wave band that was formed in 1973. In some of their concerts, they wore what was called an electric dome, and the Roblox Devo hat was meant to be a recreation of those hats. However, a few days later, the hat was taken down because of a supposed lawsuit from the band themselves. When it was made off sale, the name was changed to Impossible to Obtain Red Wedding Cake Hat. Jared Pogi 123 Kaba Jared Pogi 123 Kaba was either a throwaway account or a stolen account that was created in 2015. It was just a normal account for a few years until October of 2017. On the forums, the account had posted a link that redirected to an archive of a site where you could find this is often thought to be one of the main reasons that the forms shut down, and this is the incident I briefly mentioned at the start of the video that I didn't go into fully. Raite Raite was one of the earliest controversial users on Roblox and had been causing a ruckus in the very small Roblox community at the time as far back as November 2006. Raite was known for asking random people for their password, and since Roblox's community, even back then, was also mostly very small children, Raite had gained access to a lot of accounts through this. If something like this happened in 2021, they probably would just get banned immediately. 
but at the same time, Roblox was so small at the time that the world record for most people playing Roblox at the same time, any games at all, was 40. They had also made accounts that had similar names to popular people in the community at the time, but altered a bit. For example, they made Draco Swordmaster into Draco Sexmaster, Indiana Jones into Indiana Jerk, and Raite into Rite Gay. Problem user. On October 17, 2006, Shedletsky left a post on the GameDev.net forums that said this, Hi there, our casual online game has reached a milestone today. We need to ban our first problem user. Ideally, I would like to ban him from both playing the game, the game is played in a downloaded EXE, and posting in our online forums. To this day, it is unknown who this problem user was, or even what they did. That's the Roblox controversies iceberg. If enough people suggest more things that I left out, I may make a part two. If I left anything out or I made a mistake somewhere, please let me know in the comments and then I will make a pinned comment with anything that I made a mistake on, etc. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.